Well, summer just started and school is the last thing on parents and students minds, but teachers and administrators in the Mead School District are still hard at work with the big changes coming to the district this fall. KXY Force Katie Curry working for you with how the district plans to combat overcrowding. Aaron, the school district's overcrowding has mostly impacted Prairie View Elementary, with hundreds of students having to be bused to other schools. But with new legislation passed earlier this year, the district has found a way to solve that for now. For much of the last two years, the Ferguson family has shuffled four kids to three different schools. But with the district's decision to move all sixth grade classes from Prairie View Elementary School into portables at Northwood Middle School this fall, the family is finally getting back some normalcy. It's the first time that we know where everybody's going this year, and that's there's a certain level of comfort that's involved with that. The two younger kids will be at Prairie View and two older kids at Northwood. My daughter's very excited. They're going to have almost like their mini sixth grade campus down there, which is going to be a lot of fun. The sixth grade students will remain separate from the middle schoolers, but will rotate classrooms for different subjects. The change stems from legislation passed earlier this year, allowing school districts to utilize old buildings to house students, something that was illegal to do before. With the passage of that in March, this became an option that we could look at as a viable option to bring students into the old building and be able to utilize this for up to 10 years after the new building is built. Northwood Middle School is in the process of building a new facility. The new middle school will then leave about 30 classrooms just sitting empty. In a couple years when the new building building is ready, uh, we may have some sixth graders from other buildings as well as we are experiencing overcrowding and, and uh, a lot of growth in our school district at this time. This solution is no permanent fix. With more houses and apartment complexes slated to be built, the student population will likely grow even more. We're hoping that we can buy a little bit of time, but of course with new homes coming in, uh, we don't know how long that will be. Smart growth in the county is to have that educational side to it, and uh, we want to make sure that the school district can grow at the same time. The district says they are looking at running another bond in the next couple of years. They'll also be looking at configuring all three of their middle schools into a 6th, 7th, 8th grade middle school model. The district's hope is it will create space for all day kindergarten and class size reduction reporting in studio Katie Curry KXLY 4 news.